Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Alright, so we are back in Skyrim, as, we, as you are well aware. And we're going to do a couple things. One, we're going to see if we can get um, Blackbriar meat for the Jarl. And, um... Two. So yeah, so I want to be able to get Black Briar Mead. Hello, Barbus. You are exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked and I'm continuing to do so. You see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. So what could a dog need help with? My master and I had a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. You're just a lost little puppy. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> My master's Clavicus Vile, Daedric Prince of Wishes. As you can imagine, he's quite the important person. Sounds easy, sounds easy enough. Let's go find him. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. Hey, just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? So we're not gonna follow Barbus just yet. No, I could. I forgot I had downloaded that mod. Yeah, hell's talkative. Uh... Tear you to pieces. Huh. Ooh, 
Orcish Warhammer. Come on! It's actually kind of nice not dealing with quests and stuff in Skyrim for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just taking my time and doing whatever. Coming stand far. Was that no one? What was that? To enjoy killing you. Killing you. No more. I yield. I yield.
You good there, bro? Hail, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. I have only one bottle when you can have two. Ismir's beard, you're one after my own heart. I would love another bottle. This good deed should not go unrewarded. Here, take this. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. discover locations that I will eventually go to. Come on! I'll tear you to pieces. Is this what you want, huh? I'll get you. Don't get away from me. Yeah. 
I hate race. Alright, so where are we going? Oh yeah, that's right. Come on. I thought I saw another one. Another sky shard. Oh, there it is. Hunter's cabin discovered.
anyone there? No one. We can take them. Hello, who's there? Is someone there? It's nothing. Aha. Kill you. What was that? Do your worst. You'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead. Are you prepared to die? You win. I submit. You won't get away from me. You. What was that? Last mistake. <laughs> like the bite of a flea. No one bests an orc. Who will win? Who will win this bout? I will. I will win this bout. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. I cannot best you.
All right. Probably not well equipped to deal with this. Nope. Oh, he one shotted me. Okay. He what he murdered me. He absolutely murdered me. Oh, no, you don't. You're good as dead. Damn you! Come on, get him! Get him, Senvar! Get him! Gods, no! I'll tear you to pieces! Yeah! God damn it, Senvar. You're making me angry. Uh, that's all you've got? Uh, close. Uh, I cannot best you. Uh, uh, you're making me angry. We can't go down here yet because, uh, unfortunately, hold on, I can't see jack shit. I don't know why I did, did that. There we go. But yeah, so basically you can't go deeper down to the mine yet because it has a lot to do with a certain danger quest. Basically speaking, if you've done Boethius quest, then you would understand that. Alright. I'm gonna fast travel over there. Alright. I don't Oh, there it is. Did I not get it? What was that? Uh, what is that? Vampires, shit. Or gargoyles. Yeah. Uh, uh. That's 
That's your best, huh? Arr! I'm gonna kill you. Yeah! Why am I using my worst arrows? That's the question. I'm not gonna use my elven arrows. I'm gonna use my steel arrows. No! I'll tear you to Hold pieces. On. I need to get some higher ground. You can just hit. <laughs> I'm gonna crush you like a bug. I'll rip you in half. Come on. You're good as dead. Those hunters are dead. See these gargoyles. God, I'll get you. Come on. Tear you to pieces. Victory's yours, I submit. You're dead, dead. It's nothing. Why are you running? Howard. You're making me. 
me angry. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. True. Oh my god. I might just run away if this is the case. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. And the issue is they're healing. That's the problem. Hold on. I'll rip you in half. See, he's running away, so I can't really kill him.
We can just get one of them. And they keep moving. I hate gargoyles, man. I'm not looking forward to the Dawn Guard. I'll rip you in half. I'll rip you in half. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. See, they keep on running. That's the, that's the issue I'm here, having here. Teach uh, Nord arrows. Let's see if those work. You're... You keep on running, why you keep on? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna crush you like a bug. I keep on blatantly missing. That's I'll tear you to pieces. Why do these guys keep on running? That's the real question here. It's like they want to, well, they're, they're gargoyles, so it's like, whatever. I'll tear you to pieces. Missed. Is the AI so stupid gargoyle?
How come I keep missing? If I can just get one, I'll save it there. Denvar. Did he die? Well, that took, I, I am not looking forward to the Dawn Guard, let me tell you. Run away. Stenvar is dead. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> the question is do I have enough arrows to take care of him? To take care of Bloaterman's Grotto? That is the real question here. Hmm. 
What are you doing? Die, damn you! That's it! That's all you've got! I'll tear you to pieces! Lucky hit! Close! I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Nicely done. That's... that's... wow. What are you doing? Why is Horn? Yeah. The controller stopped working. see something here. Come on. Roots in the forest Shit. will feast on your body. What? Good fucking god. Okay, I gotta get the high ground. Throat 
So the forest will feast on your body. Is I'm carrying too much to be able to run. That's nice. And here is Bolar's Oathblade. To he who finds this, know that I, Asilius Bolar, lost the, the blades to survive the attack on Cloud Ruler Temple and took refuge here in this ancient sanctuary. The Thalmor have come for me, but they shall not desecrate this place. I go forth to meet my death with honor. If you are worthy, take up my blade and do the same. My friend. I'm here to help. What do you need? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna sell that because I already disenchanted something similar. He was gonna wear that. Why not? Okay. Lead on then. I can save right here. But yeah. Come on. Come at me, wolf. I see you. Oh, no, you don't. Forces of the forest. Can't take it. Poor sweet trees. It perfume the very axe that cuts them. They know it begins in the forest. I'm gonna kill you. Hey, be careful. No. No. You're good at this.
tear you to pieces. Run away. Flowers will oh, you. I'll be back. And you'll be dead. Your mortal remains. Mercy. No, not like this. End it. My gosh, you just got pelpered with all those arrows. Oh, shit. Stenvar. You won't get away from me. Always oh, waving at us. So I know there's another Spriggan over yonder. something God damn it. There we go.
My god, I've been going for over an hour. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to head back to Falkreath at next episode, and we're going to do in my, in my, my Moonlight, um, because reasons. Um, um, and, um, yeah, because I've been going over for one hour and nine minutes. And I think, uh, who's this? Who is this? Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Okay. Um. I'm still here. Wait a minute. Yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was the Yzmir helmet. Oh, well. Oh, I need to give that stuff back to him. <laughs> Anyways, let me know if you need yeah. anything. Yeah. So, um, I'll head back to Falkreath and sell off some junk that I just don't need. And what is what is causing me to be oh so over encumbered, anyways? Probably these. Let's this. Plus, I need. Actually, no. Let's head back to Valgreath, anyways. And then we'll end the episode. Yeah, I think that'll be do it better. Because we need to. Return Runeville's journal. Oh, there he is. Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. Why do you have a mustache? Why do you have a mustache? Let's read his journal. 17 second seed. It has been a long time since I've written an entry in this journal. I admit I had with, with I admit with some embarrassment then that when I pulled it down from the shelf, I nearly choked off on the dust that flew. There is little to tell, but did suffer another awful nightmare of the war. I suppose this in a, this is an affection. Affliction common to many who must see the horrors of war firsthand. Writing about it is already has already helped me feel help, help me feel help me to feel better. Nineteen second seed received a, le a letter from un uh, Anders and Anders and right in White Run. He has invited me to visit, and I intend to accept. It's been a long time since I was in, in the in the city. My only fear is the Thalmor. I have heard that they they and their agents are abroad in Skyrim, rooting out worshippers of Talos. I must be sure to keep a low profile. 28th of Second Seed. Returned from my trip to Whiterun to find very few flowers have bloomed here. The rest of Skyrim is is covered. No. Is covered in blo blooms of fiery red and piercing blue. But, but only a scant few appeared in, in or near the town. I'll make it my mission to change that. We could use some flowers to brighten this gloomy place. Perhaps I can t get get tel Tecla to help me. Ninth of mid year, spent most of the day consoling Laud, who received news of his coven co cousin Grim. 
Grimsvater's death. There, they were quick. They they were quite close as youth, and Laud drank and talked about uh, of his childhood memories. It was touching, but bittersweet. Twenty second of mid year, a wandering peddler passed through Falkreath today. I purchased a few sticks of in, of, of incense from him. He was nice. He was he was a nice young young Nord lad, following in his father's footsteps. I think his name was Valbjorn. A few days later, one of the town's guards sp spied a pat pack of carrion birds circling near the road. He found a young he he found young young Valbjorn's corpse, victim of a bandit attack. My heart is heavy, and yet I should know better. Life and death, growth and change, the turning of the seasons, they are all aspects of the mighty RK. I should not be so so affected by by the death of the of one young man and yet. Twelfth twelfth sun's height. Travels pass through town, speaking of the land in the gri in the grip of high summer. These are the warmest days of of year of the year in Skyrim, but not in Falkreath. Here, all the mist and fog and rain, it is always cool and damp, and the seasons have little meaning. Solov asked me to asked me about this today. He said said that it is that that in a place of death uh, of the dead, such just such as our great cemetery, RK's domain should be absolute, and yet RK is also lord of seasons, and and place seems untouched by them. I gave the best answer I could, and I explained that Falkreath is indeed a place of great power for RK, but he prefers to keep it this way. Solemn and gray. Hopefully, that was at least partly true, but who can possibly know the mind of a god? 12th, 20 of Sun's Height. Dreamed of the war again, but this time something's some but this time something different. I was leading a small band of all merry battle mages on a mission deep in the into the heart of the imperial of imperial territory. We had drawn near our target, a supply de depot outside of Jaden Hall. When the sky suddenly darkened, a great shadow passed over us, and there was a roar so terrible it chilled my blood. Something was flying just overhead, so huge and so dark, as to blot out the sun. The dream changed. Then I was near here in Falkreath, performing a service for someone who had just passed away through I do not recall who, though I do not recall who. From the corner of my eye, I saw a stranger approaching. I turned to look, but the shadow came again and the roar, and then I awoke. Now that I reflect on the dream, I cannot help but wonder, was it a dragon? Why would I dream of such a creature? when I had never seen one. It seemed so real at the time, but now the memory is fading. What what it means, I cannot say. Probably nothing. The number of graves in this cemetery never... Thank you. It's a collection of regrets that I try not to forget. Here, I promised you this. <sighs> I'll teach you... I bid you safe travels. I have level 19. Alright, so I'm not gonna level that up just yet, but yeah. Um I still need to find Blackbriar Mead. I'll do that later. Um I'll end the recording here and uh yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. I know it's a little bit longer, but with gargoyles and, and stuff wandering the wilderness i i don't know <laughs> anyways i hope you all enjoy this episode guys and i will catch you all in the next one bye